What's up guys? Welcome back. Behind me we have the welder truck and I know last time we said it was really really tall. Corey did get it lowered what three inches? Yep three inches. And um, we'll show you how he did that. He spent a night over the weekend just trying to lower it and he did a good job because the wheel gap isn't as crazy to me. We'll show you what he did. All right so what I did to start with is I guess where we left off was this cab mount here had a shelf on it right here. Well, by cutting that back side of that shelf off, it allowed me to take the cab mount and lower it on down. So that's how I got the, the cab down in the front. And then right here, you see it had a bolt going through there and a shelf here. So what I did there was I just moved the bolt up and drilled a hole. So I moved that shelf up. So then it allowed the fender to come down in the front. So that's how I did the front of the cab and the front fenders. There's nothing holding the front fenders up except for the front bumper, and we don't have the front bumper on it. But it's kind of, this truck was kind of odd because on most trucks, the, the front fenders are attached to the cab. But in this particular truck, the front fenders are just held by this brace here. Moving on to the back, how I did it was originally this bolted to the frame. But I went ahead and cut it off three inches, and now this cab mount is going to weld to the frame. And we'll do a good weld right here and then put a uh, bracket here to kind of support it. And then if we ever need to take the cab off, we can take it off here. So that's how I got the, the back down. I guess the next step for this thing is to put the doghouse or I guess the hood and um, grill in it. And hopefully there's enough clearance to clear the hood or clear the radiator and the core support and all that. And then we're gonna go ahead and start stripping the international cab, which you see on the back of this truck. Go ahead and strip everything down and start getting in, getting it getting it put in this truck. I was really struggling there. The next plan is we're gonna take everything out of this international truck and stick it in this truck, the steering column and everything. But that comes back to the other dilemma, which is this, the gearbox is running right into the cab mount. So we're gonna to have to get creative with that. So I guess, um, what do you think? You wanna go ahead and put the hood in? grill in it yeah you freezing oh, we, or what yeah i was gonna say i'm sunbathing you're you're taking away from my son we gotta hurry and get this truck done because i won't get nothing done no if it and it's snowing and it's uh too big of a truck to get in the garage so it's getting built 100 percent outside in the driveway mm -hmm. It fits, yeah. So the grill fits. That is a huge accomplishment. You know, that means we don't have to move nothing. It fits. You might be able to come down a little bit more, but we still got to put the computer and the truck and everything in there too. So, mm -hmm. well, I think it'll work. What do you think? I think it'll work. I think it's so that's pretty cool that the front, the front end on this thing fits. And then let's see what it it fits really good here so there's that uh we got plenty of clearance in here we could actually go back with it if we needed to well actually uh well it's hitting here a little bit uh, we might have to take these off and uh, maybe move this uh ac condenser up a shade but it it does fit so next up is we gotta pull this front end off start putting the steering column and everything in it unless we can unless we just leave it together we might be able to just leave it together like that and we can go ahead and pull, start putting the steering column and stuff in it. Sound good? You yeah. excited? Yeah. Let's hear it. I'm, uh, I'm excited, but I'm cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. Before we get going, we got our new Core Week Custom sign. Hannah decided to put it on our storm cellar. So there oh, it I is. Get, I need to decorate over there. And I think that's just like perfect touch. Uh, we're going to use the gauge cluster. I'm going to try to hide it up and behind our dash now. This is the cruise control panel. Ignition, of course. Uh, there's all your heat and everything like that. Air brake button. So try to use everything out of this truck. I got to gut this dash and put everything in the F600 
and we're going to be using the gauge cluster the brake the gas pedal the clutch even the steering column so here's the steering column it has it already has um you know your turn signals and everything on it everything is wired so if i do this right i should be able to use everything and everything should work yes it's going to be a little bit of a challenge i have never done this in any of our other builds i usually put um a 14 circuit harness in it but this i was trying to do kind of use what we got and try to make everything work so i guess uh let's go ahead and start tearing this thing apart everything unwired from the um, back side of the face of the dash I got everything labeled you guys should be proud of me new and improved Corey I'm labeling everything you ready um, hold on got one little bolt right here all right I think we're finally ready we had a two little brackets I forgot so here we go I say that here we go. I I you come on out and grab it okay. oh. that stuff we don't need okay, good. Just bent some of it. now where so do you want this put this on this side because we that's our key pile this is not so key pile Buckley you're in the middle so you better be good <laughs> I went ahead and brought my uh, I went I went ahead and brought my toolbox out here. I got tired of walking, so we got that in here. Um, what we got going on now? Hannah's got a keep pile and a not keep pile. We're not going to throw anything away right now, but we're just kind of deciphering what we need or don't really need. There's a ton. Of wiring this is why we don't normally do it like, like this yeah that's probably why it I'm may just... be the best way to go but i mean look at i think right now it's going to be time co time consuming but it'll be you know worth it in the end i guess maybe not sure <laughs> i don't know there's a lot going on right here i can't even get this unplugged you're playing teeter-totter i know that yeah i know We're getting there. There. So what's this? <laughs> Look at there. Cup holders. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep that. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so I got the wiring harness all out. The next step is to get the clutch, brake, and gas pedal out of this thing. Then after we do that, we'll be transferring it into the Ford over here. It's gonna be a little tricky because of this pillar here. Uh, that's pretty much where the the brake is, the pedal assembly needs to be. So I don't know what we're gonna get into there, but I guess let me go ahead and pull that out and then I guess we'll go from there. All right, this thing should come out. Not for sure, but yep, it is. Got it. Only other thing I gotta have off this cab well, there's probably a lot more that I need, but I definitely need the computer. So it's the computer's mounted there. I got to figure out how to mount it to the bottom side of the hood or the firewall on this. But let me take you guys on the inside of this thing just so you guys can see what we're working with. We got to put everything inside here. The biggest thing is going to be trying to fit 
the pedal assembly in there first. That's where we got to start with. Can we just take a second to look how this thing is in here? I got to fix this. There's something, I think I got this. Uh, Hannah's making all kinds I'm of noise. Not, you, I just said, I'm going to clean it out. Let me come over here. I got to figure out why this is, uh, something's not right here. I got to fix this uh, boot here. It shouldn't look like that. Something's probably pushing down on it or something, but other than that, it's in there. We got to get the shifter in it. There's a lot of stuff we got to do, actually. I wonder why that is pushed down. I can't see it from over here, but, oh, I see what's wrong with it. I got a strap holding the fender up and the fender, the strap is pushing down on the intercooler tubing. That's what's wrong. No big deal there then. All right, I guess uh, next step for me is to try to put this pedal assembly in the truck. All right, so it's kind of hard to film, but we're doing the best we can to film for you guys and get it done. So this is the steering, the steering column sets on this plate here. So before we were filming, we set this up against here and we did kind of roughly eyeball the steering column and it, the top of the steering wheel sits about here. So it's pretty close and right where it needs to be. So this is going to set the pace for the whole dash because, you know, the steering wheel has to be where it has to be, you know, you know, to be comfortable and stuff like that. So that's where we're going to start is putting the steering wheel, the steering column in it and stuff like that. And then just work left and right. I, I mean, we, we got a couple of holes marked here. They're really close to these. So we'll have to go back and address some stuff, but we got to, we got to get this set in place before we can do anything. <laughs> Now we need a drill. As long as that's, as long as it don't have to, if it came up like that, would be perfect. Want to drill something into the dash, you mean? Yeah, we might. Well, see, this comes down. If that comes down, it might hold it too, but that looks really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's too far over this way, should it? Right there is better, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you need? Bigger hole. I think I got this. See if I can put some nuts on the other side. So clearly we're gonna have to shorten the brake pedal here. Oh, hang on. Whoa. It's hard to do this. No, it was, you just told me to record. I know. Still hard to do. <laughs> you want me to put this down and help? No, I get it. Okay. Cause I could be holding that up right now. Yeah. Oh geez. That's like <laughs> trucker status. <laughs> yeah. Well, make sure this is what you want. Cause I can always Well, I will. Kind of move but it. But I figure when it should be the same angle because this is the same angle. You're going 90. The firewall is 90 and the international cab was 90. So it shouldn't the angle couldn't have changed. But I mean if you don't hit your knuckles on it. Just gonna tell them you're tightening it up a shade. We're tightening it up a shade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, I mean it goes right through. I mean it's perfect. So Kind of where we're at now is we like, I don't mind the steering column at all. I'd like for it to be the older steering column, 
but hey, you'll have a horn this way. Um, we might pull the steering wheel off this one and put the older steering wheel on it just to give that old school look. Uh, the biggest thing now is just to make sure th the seat can go in it and uh, there's enough leg room for Hannah or me, which I won't be driving it much, but um, as long as Hannah can fit in it and the steering column don't need to come up, I really think it's probably perfect. Mm -hmm. But um, we have a truck around back. We're going to go check out, but let me tighten these up and we're going on a field trip. So anyways, Hannah don't really care for the dark blue. It is chipping a lot and, you know, so if I wet sand it, I think I can get a lot of the blue back out. And the floor, you know, like, look how, look, it's beautiful. I love the teal. So I think I'm going to try to wet sand it all and get some of that teal it. out. She has to wet sand it before I put all the wiring in it because I don't want to be tracing down a wiring gremlin because it got moisture and water in it. Mm -hmm. um, steering column looks good. So let's go to the field, the field of dreams. Oh. That's what I'm going to call that. Okay. <laughs> the promised land. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go check out some trucks, see if we can find some seats to pull out. Seats. Looking for seats. Whatever that, I'll go to 66. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I've got my helper, but she done flew past us. Um, I'm going out to the north lot. Oh my gosh, I should have hitched a ride. Corey talked the neighbor into coming and looking at his new junk. So here they come. <laughs> we'll go out here to, gosh, I'm out of breath, <laughs> to um, second gen row. And I have to find, I know the white truck in the middle has really crappy seats. I don't know about this one. You can smell the mold. These seats are immaculate, but they're power. I need manual. I'm pretty sure I remember the golden nugget being manual seats from what i remember which would be good i just don't remember what the condition of them is oh, well okay they look really good for sitting here forever yeah i mean obviously a little moldy but i need to measure here to there see what we can do because worst comes to worst we just take out the console and just have the two buckets. Measuring, I, here it is. <laughs> I say measuring ain't my thing. So I did look and I just can't go past 66. So we're gonna overshoot that cause I'm not over there. That'll work. Put the whole thing in there. Dang. Comes to about 61, but that's if, um, I mean, that's probably overkill. So good deal, good deal for me. My ride, come pick me up. Come on. Yeah, come on. I was really excited that we didn't have to leave and go to a junkyard. You know, I love doing that, but, um, and then I got thinking, we have our own junkyard, so. So, aren't you proud? Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, see, I've saved so much time and money by investing in this junkyard. We don't have to go nowhere no more. I don't more. know about so much, but. Man. Smells in here. Probably gonna get some kind of disease in this thing. Are you going to have these seats recover? We're just going with it. Uh, I mean. For now, just go with it. Yeah. Like maybe a seat cover would be nice, but they're really nice. They just smell really bad. Just so you guys know, this is my donor truck that we're The motor, apart. yes, it is. The whole truck's Do mine. we ever use anything out of the donor truck other than the pedals and the motor? I was going to. 
Oh, you were not. Wait till you get my bill for this. Mm hmm. The whole project. Yeah. Trip over. A what? Stick? Sticks, yeah, and you're pulling me through them. <laughs> I'm stepping on the feet though. That's what it is. jump up you okay, push. Ready? One, two, <laughs> Get in there. I'm trying. You're on my hang dang. Hold on. <laughs> I've got the weight of you in this seat. Hold on. You're taking out my unit. Why? Well, like, look. Look, you can't I get it in right that. now. <laughs> Wait, I mean, yeah, the it's too tall. The seat's going to have to be shortened. It's like the mousetrap all over again. I can take some off the base. Move your leg. I can take some off the base because the base ain't even setting here. I could take off some here. The pedals are way down here. I probably seat could stay here. Well, the pedals got to raise up too, though. So the seats need to come down. Oh yeah. Seats need to come down about three, four inches, probably on the ground, I don't know. But the center of it, we can't use it anyways because there's no way um, with the shifter that it's gonna be able to be there. So we're just gonna use these, take the middle out, and uh, they're nice bucket seats anyway. So um, yeah, we're gonna go with what we got, I guess. So I just cut the firewall out of this thing and I'm gonna be using this to graft into that truck is my plan. This way it'll get, um, it's an air brake truck. I know you guys have heard me say that before, but this will allow me to take the, the back of the air brakes. The back of the pedal has like a manifold kind of, and it's got like four airlines running through it. Well, the four airlines ran through here. If I don't use this to graft it in, this will at least give me a good template. Uh, that was kind of the plan either use it as a template or just graft the whole panel into this truck uh, I don't know. I don't know if it'll work But we're gonna try it. So here is the brake pedal and this is what I was talking about It's got this little manifold back here that all the airlines go into and then this piece here goes uh, I have to figure out I think it goes goes like that on there You guys kind of get what I'm talking about. So my plan is to maybe graft this into the firewall over here. And now that I got the, the steering column bracket and the, was that the brake pedal in there? Or, or not the brake pedal. That was the clutch. Let me see. Yeah, that was the clutch. So, so now that I got the steering column and the clutch pedal in there, I got the four holes that will line me up with these four holes. So I'll be using these two holes here and the other two holes are actually in the firewall already so that's those two is those two are the bolts i was talking about so if i line them two bolts up with these two bolts that should give me the platform for the rest of the pedal assembly all right let's see if this works 
probably gonna be a pain. Let me undo this strap. All right, well, right now the problem is my oil sending unit um, line here is kind of holding me up past and I can't really see. So I'm gonna undo this fitting real quick and then that should allow me to put it flush up against the firewall. It looks like it's gonna work. I got our sending unit off there, the wire or the hose. All right, so what I'm seeing, I know you guys can't see it right now, but the position of the steering column now and the position of where the steering column was on the truck, it's, it's um, closer to me than it was in the international cab. So I'm probably just gonna cut the bottom, cut above where the factory, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because this is kind of unnecessary because it's not lining up at all. So if I cut this here, that'll still give me the template I need. I was kind of seeing if I could use um, kind of a two for one thing, use this as a template and use the steering as a template. But this is, it puts it in an awkward position so let's just go ahead and cut this off and just use this plate only and then continue on and we'll graft we'll keep continue to graft it in but um this ain't gonna work but this half of it will work i went ahead and cut the steering side off of it this should work a little better okay the only thing i'm seeing now really is affecting anything is it's really close to this top of the intake tube but I think if it was pushed back and relaxed a little bit once we get it all located we'll, we might have to massage that back a little bit uh, but this will give us a good template of what we need so I guess really next step I got my orange paint marker here I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do this Trying to figure out if I'd be ahead to put this on the inside of the firewall so then it looks like it's still the factory Ford firewall on the outside. Instead of when you open the hood, it looks like the piece of plate is on this side. Put the piece of plate on the, the firewall side or on the inside so then it don't look like that. piece I had earlier I went ahead and had Hannah put it on the inside that looks a hundred times better if you see this orange mark right here that's where it was setting on the outside it just looks a lot cleaner and stuff like that instead of a big giant rectangle on the outside I'm trying to make this truck look as factory as it can from under the hood which I know nothing about a giant inline DT 466 as factory but now going underneath the dash that's a little different story you can see the plate in there but once you know all the mechanics of it and the pedals and stuff like that it'll be camouflaged in there and i think it'll be fine you you good with it yeah, well yeah <laughs> all right so we're going to hold that there for a second try to slip our steering column back in and like i said that's going to give us the perfect platform to to continue on with with that area look at that little bit of room about a quarter inch on that one there but once we get it you know we got a couple more we got these two bolts locating it but those will be replaced with the steering column and then the steering column comes on through uh, this bolt or that hole and that hole I think it looks pretty good and the cool thing is you don't even see it from inside because of that plate that goes in there that's what it's going to look like when you look in the truck. The only thing you see is this little white here and there and up there. Spray some spray bomb on that thing and you'll never see it. So now the steering column, uh, these two bolts here will go where these two bolts are here. And then this one here and this one go through here. So that's, uh, that's that. It's getting pretty dark out. It don't look like it's that dark because of the flash on the camera here. But you ready to go eat? Um, yeah, I'm ready for like a fireplace and hot cocoa. <laughs> well, here's a little update of what I got done. And I got the clutch pedal in it. The brake pedal is in it. Yes, they're sitting on the floor. I'm going to have to um, cut them.
cut them off and move them up and then cut this one and move it towards us. Where we left off, we cut this piece out and we grafted that piece into the Ford. And now what I got going is I need to put the electrical, whatever you want to call this thing, uh, back in the firewall of this truck. So what I did was I took a piece of yellow construction paper and made me a cutout of the hole. And instead of just grafting that in, that's going to be pretty simple, just cutting a rectangle hole in this truck. But the problem I'm facing now is there ain't really enough room to put that in there. So I made, that's why I made the template. I'm either going to put it, I got to figure out how I want to put it, either like this or I thought about putting it like that. But that kind of depends on what kind of room I have inside the cab. Hannah can't stand the dash being dark blue, so she's wet sanding it down to till. Yep. How's that going? It's going very, very, very slowly. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it how it wants to be mounted, but in order for me to mount it where it needs to be, I'm gonna have to cut this brace out right here, and that shouldn't be no big deal. Just cut it out and I can't go any further because the inside of the truck is like right here. I think I might be doing this all day. All right, I got my helper to hold that baby up there, but there it is. So <laughs> there, there's our little cutout. We'll trim it up, make it look nice, maybe Put a little pocket in here. I might not even need it, but there's our little panel. I have to bolt that to the firewall somehow, but there is that. I'll show you guys inside real quick. Welcome. So see what I'm saying? I can't really go no further forward or no further over because of the module, but it's sitting in there really nice. The wiring's perfect. I mean, I, I guess it'll work. Well, I'm not sitting in here real nice, so. Okay, well, hold on. Let me fasten it down. <laughs> How are you fastening this thing down? I don't know. I got to figure that out yet. I guess next step is we kind of need to go ahead. What my plan is, I'm trying to get everything on the firewall and then the floor, such as the shifter, get it all buttoned up, and then we can start building the firewall and the floorboard, patching it all up. The biggest dilemma, I think, is going to be is Sandy. this gas pedal. The what? Sanding. Sanding's the biggest priority. Yeah. I no, it's the biggest dilemma. Biggest dilemma is sanding? Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> I'll trade you jobs. Okay. So, uh, I did go this morning and try to get a windshield wiper motor because I tried to power it up and it's locked up. And Hannah really wants windshield wipers. I want to be able to drive my stuff when it rains. rain -X, homie. Corey, rain -X does not work for me. Well, the gas pedal is drive-by wire instead of drive-by cable. But the problem with this is that orange plug is in the way. That is exactly where the gas pedal needs to be. So I might kind of put that on hold and go ahead and do like the engine cover, which is kind of odd to say because usually that's where the transmission is instead of the engine. <laughs> so I need to, I'll probably use the factory transmission tunnel, motor tunnel, whatever you want to call it. Probably what I'm going to do is cut it here and basically cut it in half and then extend everything up. All right, so while Hannah's in there sanding that, I decided to go ahead and mess with the clutch pedal uh, linkage and stuff like that. So the clutch pedal has a linkage that comes down and pushes and pulls this lever, which pushes and pulls this into the clutch. I need to remove it off this truck and then try to graft it onto that one. Before I take it off, I was gonna try to show you guys how it's mounted on this one. It's mounted to the floorboard and then it runs through this uh, pillar here and then it kind of hinges, you know, has its own little hinge system. So I guess uh, I'm gonna pull that off and try to make it work on that big guy. So my plan is I cut it off and then I'm gonna try to somehow put it on the back side of here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna set it, maybe uh, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. But what I got going is the clutch rod coming through the floor is right here, which is in line with this area right here. Sure. 
shirt caught on fire. Oh. Yeah. You want to get that on video? Yeah, I got that. Turn it around. Let's. Are you cold? No, I'm hot. No. <laughs> so, um, this is a limited edition belly shirt. <laughs> Corey's crop top edition. Yeah, this crop top. Hey, I can put it back on now. Hold on. Let's see. I'll wear this the rest of the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm good to go. <laughs> I know my skin feels mm -hmm. horrible. What's the chances that that this is not this is just everyday stuff here? Yeah, this is actually what I mean. You've had three other shirts catch on fire. We just never get it. By the way, right now our new T-shirts are in the the new and improved Viking shirts. So if you want one, go to the website right now. They are not fireproof, just yeah, so you all. They're not fireproof, but go to CoreyWeekCustoms.com and you can get you a shirt just like mine. But a little bit different. A little nicer. Yeah, a little nicer. But new shirts available on the website. Go check it out. All right, so I'm back. I got a fresh new shirt. I got an Air Dog shirt on now. Air Dog's been there for us since the beginning. Uh, back when we 12 ounce swapped my C10 back. Man, that's been... Oh, eight yeah, ago, eight or more, yeah. So, go check Air Dog out. Air they Dog, are the official. I am. They are the official fuel pump, fuel respirator, purulator, a CWC. <laughs> well, I burn Sends hair. Your eyelashes, Did Corey. I really? Yes, For real? they're glowing. Look, <laughs> open them up. Oh my god. For real? Yes. Let me see. Oh no, not your beard. Oh, it is. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. How Look many... at my eyelashes. Or eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in rough shape. Yeah. It just makes it look blonder. Where I left off, I was messing with this stupid bracket. I'll show you guys. I got it kind of cut. I'm going to show you guys that now. I'm coming. Put this baby like this. That's my plan. Mm -hmm. And then run a drill a hole through that. And then I might go ahead and cut this ear off. Because you ain't going to need it. Not really. I was kind of looks stupid on Unless there. Unless you bend it around. Just bend it, it with around. A I can just cut it off. And then down here, I'll just cap it. But that'll give it a good idler area for the for that bracket. Right, so this ain't really the way I was planning on putting that piece. But then that's the way I ended up putting it. I think it'll work like that. I just got to get all this shortened up. This stuff is entirely too long. That shaft there is too long. But I think I can just, I don't know, shorten everything up. So that's my plan. I'm going to try to get these welds, that weld there off that shaft. And then slide it in this way. If I keep everything in line, everything should work. I'm not sure. But that's what I got going on so far. This is what I came up with. This is... Not done by no means, but I got it tacked into here. I took a notch out of that, ran my piece of uh, tubing through there, and then the linkage is under here now. Let's see if I can get in here. So this is the clutch pedal that pulls up, and then this rod here, it comes up yet. Hold on, it's stuck. Well, there. Okay, so this comes up like this. I have to weld this yet, but I got to get a longer piece of um, threaded rod to go to the, the clutch side. But whenever you pull up the pedal, this will come back. I got to put like an idler on this side here and brace it up. Otherwise, it's just going to break it off. But you can see my piece is my international piece. This is it, the international cab piece. There it is. I'll weld it all good put a uh, back piece on here finish welding all that so now where I'm at is the steering column so this blue shaft is a steering column it'll scoot over to here and go to here but the steering column is too long so now I got to modify the steering column to go from there to there and then I'll probably have to shave some of this out this thing's a real pain in the butt I know that I got the the firewall and floor kind of done up in some metal now we got to pull the cab off 
and finish the firewall and the floor, set the cab back down on it. But before I could do all that, I had to do the steering column. So I did notch out some uh, for the steering column. I'll show you guys that now, what I got done. And then um, we got to pull this cab off and then stick it back on. And then we can put all the wiring in it. We can't put all the wiring in it until the firewall and floorboard's done. So I went ahead and did that. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. So what I did in here is I took the original top piece that was on, or you know, the, the engine or transmission cover, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I went ahead and cut it and moved it up. What I did was I simply tack welded it to the top there. All that has to be, you know, beat up and trimmed out. That's the reason we got to take the cab back off. And I just simply raised it up. I tacked it there and then put me this strip of metal in here and tacked it and held it in place. And then I've been going through with some yellow construction paper and my scissors and doing some sheet metal work. Originally, this piece would have came off so you can access the top of the transmission or the engine, but honestly, the only thing there is the top of the valve cover. There's really no reason I need in there. If I need to get in that far to the valve cover or to do a head gasket, I might as well just pull the cab off this thing. Here's what I got with the steering column. I ended up having to put the clutch linkage on the opposite side of the steering column. The, originally, this would have been on this side, but I have to have it go this way because of the angle that the steering column needs to be. So that's what I did there. So here is the steering linkage. I have to uh, put a piece of pipe in here, of course, and weld it up. It's just kind of loose fit, but I had to notch the cab mount out here. And then as you can see, the cab mount here so it could come through. I'll box all this in. And then kind of where we left off was the clutch linkage. So here is the International's piece. And then the linkage goes through there. I still got to make a little bracket on the back. Gearbox, it's kind of crazy. It goes straight through there. So I need to trim this up just a shade more, box all that in, get it back at strength, and that's that. So without me rambling on, let's go ahead and let's pull this cab off. We're kind of running out of time on this video. So I was kind of hoping to get it running. But before we can do all that, we're going to have to go ahead and pull the cab and finish the fire. back home so i had to go get the backhoe from hannah's parents because i got the frame or i got the cab up you guys just seen that i don't really want to do all my welding and stuff with the the engine and stuff right there and i don't want to melt the airlines and stuff like that so i really need the tractor i'm looking at buying a um what's it called a michigan loader so my marketplace right now is on michigan loader so i'm looking for a little baby I don't know the exact numbers, but like a little baby Michigan loader, which is like a, a front end loader that'll pick up a whole vehicle. That's what I'm looking for. Just imagine the stuff I can destroy with that. You guys know I can destroy stuff with the forklift, so see what I can destroy with the Michigan loader. Let's uh, move this chassis out of the way. Let's lower this cab down, weld it up, and go from there. So I'm pretty sure Hannah is not a fan of this weather. No, it's only, it was supposed to be a high of like 60 degrees today, I think. And it never made it there. The sun never come out. I'm kind of worried about when it gets cold, cold, babe. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll be inside. We ain't going to be building this. Hopefully. I'm trying to, trying to get this baby done so we're not outside in the cold. 
But you guys can kind of see what I got going on. Yes, it looks like a mess right now. Kind of embarrassed <laughs> to show you guys that. But uh, like I was saying, the good, the bad, and the ugly is what you're getting. Okay, so now I can get up under here and um, cut what we don't need. It looks like crap right now, I know. But we'll go ahead and kind of, you know, smooth out our corners and do everything because you're never going to be able to get to this again. Um, you can kind of see that the weld is up in here. So that tells me this can be cut out. So that's that. You can tell that this needs cut here. So we're just going to trim this up, make it look nice. I got to take the brake booster and all that fun stuff back out and weld it all up, but it's getting closer. going to be the end of this video i kind of wanted to get a little bit more i actually want to get it running in this video but that's going to be the next video hopefully yeah it should be right there yeah um i'm excited about it i know corey's been working really hard um and i've been cleaning really hard for the most part so i don't know well we've not done too bad for being in this uh what four days now mm -hmm. so we're in this day four um, this is a lot easier just kind of chassis swapping something instead of doing the full custom stuff. So by just kind of modifying the firewall and grafting some stuff in, about got her. So in the next video, we're going to be putting that wiring harness mess in this thing. I tried sanding in there as much as I could, but I do get neck aches and migraines a lot and it wasn't worth it. Like I got the most of it, but then when you're in there like this for so long, I just, I, I was over it. So uh, maybe sometime we'll get back to it. I don't know. I don't know if we even told you this, but when we say we're headed to Florida, that means we're headed to the Turkey Rod Run Thanksgiving weekend. I noticed that I haven't really, we haven't really said why we're going to Florida. We just keep saying we're going to Florida, but Turkey Rod Run is coming up Thanksgiving weekend, and the plan is to drive this thing <laughs> uh, to Florida. So yeah. wish us luck. I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait. Usually we get a project done, drive it locally, you know, then we'll venture off to Louisville, which is about an hour and a half away or two hours. I don't know. Yeah, we and go then, to the gas station, then Louisville. Yeah. And then this one is going to be like, all right, we got it done. Let's go to Florida tomorrow. So I hope we have a little bit of time before it's time. Um, kind of the game plan is to get the chat or get the cab back on the chassis, get the doghouse on it. We're going to drive it around, make sure it's good. And then we're going to be pulling the rear end. Uh, towards the cab setting the bed on it, but we don't want to bite off more than we can chew <laughs> But yeah, I, saying, yeah, I think we're, it's, we're already there, but <laughs> without us rambling on guys We hope you guys have an amazing week amazing day and don't forget to like comment and subscribe. We will see you next time